Mexico has a huge potential. Um, it's a very uh, beautiful place in terms of the weather, in terms of people. And um, one thing that I see in Mexico is that it is growing very fast and there's a huge opportunity here uh, for people uh, to grow and uh, do, do business as well. So, and it's very close to the United States as well. It's very convenient for us. And we are uh, all worrying uh, a lot about what's going on in Turkey. And, you know, safety is so important in the region and we are losing the safety not only inside Turkey but also you know, the neighbor countries as well and all over the Middle East pretty much right now. And democracy is so important and Turkey was a model for democracy for many years in the region and it was showing the democratic, uh, you know, it was getting more and more closer to democracy uh, in the recent uh, last 10 years. Uh, but what we are seeing is that, you know, this coup attempt and those kind of things, uh, they, there is no connection between democracy and what we are seeing right now. So those kind of attempts cannot be accepted, cannot be, you know, uh, correlated with democracy in any way. And uh, in that perspective, uh, you know, this is very sad what's going on. At the same time, uh, you know, uh, there are so many refugees in Turkey and also that creates a lot of uh, problems in Turkey because, you know, right now uh, it brings a lot of uh, burden in society, you know, taking care of uh, these people and these people really need help uh, and they need the help from all over the world actually. Uh, people from all over, the, all over the world need to reach out to these people and help these people because they are in really, really difficult situation. What you think uh, when you think about what's going on in Syria and the uh, life that they are living right now, it is so sad. When we look at the world in the last 100 year, 100 year I mean, the amount of knowledge that we accumulated in society is growing so fast. And in that kind of a world, uh, you know, knowledge is becoming more and more important and it's bringing more power to the people who has knowledge, right? And this power should be used in the right direction. If you use for the, you know, betterment of society, betterment of humankind, you know, helping people who are in need, and that's the way to use the uh, power. Otherwise, you know, that knowledge at the same time can be very dangerous if it is used for other purposes. You know, that is the main reason that we are having, you know, environmental problem, all problems all over the world, right? If you use that knowledge, if you use that power in the way uh, when you don't care about nature, when you, can, you don't care about, you know, other people, uh, then it might be uh, very, very dangerous. For example, you can say that, okay, there's a mining operation here and, you know, I might be, you know, creating environmental problems, I don't care about it, I will just, you know, make more and more money, this is only your focus, you know, then you might be giving actually a lot of harm to the environment. In that perspective, you know, combining, you know, these ethical val values, moral values, universal, you know, values together with education and helping, you know, the new generation to use their knowledge in the future thinks that, okay, I know this knowledge, I know this, you know, understanding, but what can I do with this knowledge to help other people, right? And that's what you see, you know, in most cases, you know, students graduating from these schools, uh, really, uh, that's what they do. They reach out to people, they look for opportunities to help other people. Democracy is a value. And people, once they start moving into that direction, and embracing democracy, there is no return from that. You know, that is a one-way street. Once you grasp and understand and taste democracy, there is no return from that. And in Turkey, that's what we are seeing. So many people, you know, they learned and embrace and like and taste democracy. I think there is no return from this. Yes, there will be some challenges, there will be some difficulties on the road, but it is already implanted in the society and it's same all over the world, right? I think, you know, uh, when we look at the 
future trends in society all over the world, we will see that people maybe slowly, maybe some of them faster than the others, but all of them will move towards democracy. There's no return from that. And definitely Gülen schools are promoting this idea because they are bringing these universal values together with the concept or sub concepts supporting democracy, right? These universal values and democracy, they go, go hand in hand. You, know, they, you cannot really separate them uh, from each other. In that perspective, my perspective is that definitely you know, these Gülen schools, Gülen movement, uh, definitely supporting uh, you know, uh, everything about democracy.